Hey y'all, Joey C VSG. Um, I've got a lot of news for you this week, uh, so I hope this doesn't run too, too long, but um, it might. So go grab some beverage and snack because it's gonna be a long one. Um, today is Saturday, November the 5th of 2016. Um, yesterday, Friday, was my 26-week post-op from vertical sleeve gastrectomy surgery. And tomorrow, which is November 6th, is my six months post-op, which I just, I cannot even believe that I am six months post-op. That is just absolutely crazy to me. Um, I feel like I waited forever to have surgery, um, and now it's just flying by. So it's pretty cool. I'm very excited. Um, and I will go ahead and jump right into my stats. So I had vertical sleep gastrectomy surgery on Friday, May 6th in Colorado Springs, Colorado with Dr. Khan at Memorial Hospital. Um, I My highest ever, ever recorded weight was 313 pounds. I did a two-week pre-op liquid diet and at the start Part of that I was 294.8 day of surgery I was 282.2 um, I'm gonna have to look at my notes because that's what I do um, <clears throat> last week when I came to you guys I was 203.0 and then yesterday I was 200.4 so on my actual weigh-in day which is Fridays I was 200.4 this morning I was in Wonderland I was 199.8 so um, I did finally make it to Wonderland if you guys have watched my other videos I wanted to be in Wonderland by my work Halloween party um, which did not happen Happen, but that is okay um, I'm not sure what just happened with the lighting but hey <laughs> um, so I did not make it to Wonderland by then but I am there now I guess just in time for my six-month post-op um, for those of you guys who did ask I did go to my work Halloween party I went as a pink lady from the movie Grease and I had so much fun I'm looking at my phone right now because I don't know how to like put in pictures because I'm a loser like that. So I'm gonna show you a picture. That is me as a pink lady. Um, it was super short notice that I ended up going, um, but it worked out and it was perfect. Um, and I had a lot of fun. So um, I'll touch more on my Halloween party in just a minute, um, but I'm just really, really excited about being in Wonderland finally. Um, I'm just so excited for that. Um, I don't know if you guys can see all of this. These are my baby, my regrowth hairs. Um, and they just kind of hang out all the time. Um, I am still losing quite a bit of hair. I have a ton of hair as you can see, um, but it is much, much thinner than it used to be. Um, like at least a third of what I used to have came out. Um, I am still losing it, but I do have some regrowth, so that's good, I guess. Um, anyway, so I did my measurements yesterday, and I will do a skin video after this one to do my six-month skin video. I know you guys always love those. I get so many views on those videos. It's so funny. Um, but I did my measurements. So the last time I did my measurements was... Um, September 30th. So just over a month. I try to do them once a month, but the way it worked out, I didn't do any in October. I did it twice in September and then now in November. So from 9:30 to 11:4, which was yesterday, I lost 4.4 4.5 inches all around, um which isn't terrible. Um you know, it's gonna, my weight loss is slowing down, my inches are gonna slow down because I, at this point, don't have as much to lose. So things are just gonna slow down, um, and that's okay, that's okay. For me, I just wanna lose about 40 more pounds um, to put me at 160. I would love to maintain between 160 and 175. Um, 
We'll see what my body decides to do, but I lost 4.5 inches last during the month, um, which is 68 inches total. 68 inches total is what I have lost. I have lost five and a half feet. It's, that's just crazy. My dogs are fighting in the background or playing. Um, so I have lost five and a half feet, which is just, it's just awesome. It's so exciting. Um, so that is that. Uh, my next mini goal that I have set in my little journey book or whatever you want to call it <clears throat> is um, about two weeks away. I made all of these mini goals um, before I had surgery while I was doing my two week liquid diet. Um, and I just wrote all my goals down in different months. So my next one is the 18th which is my husband's birthday. Happy birthday, babe. Um, I have my goal weight of being 192. So I don't know why 192. That's just what I thought felt like writing down at the time. So uh, that gives me about two weeks to lose um, seven pounds-ish, uh, eight pounds. So we'll see if I can do that. So um, going back to the Halloween party, I want to tell you guys a little bit about what happened. So I had a blast and everything was great. Um, they had food catered. They always do it there. I work for a bunch of plastic surgeons, so it's always fancy. Um, but they had this place called pasta cottage cater and it's obviously exactly what it sounds like. It's Italian food. It's pasta and meatballs and sausage and stuff like that. So I had one meatball and one piece of sausage. <clears throat> the meatballs are about that big. And then the pieces of sausage are about like that. Um, and then I just had it with some sauce, some just red tomato sauce. So I ate and then at around nine-ish, I started feeling extremely sick. I was very, very weak. My arms were going numb. I didn't have the urge to throw up. I didn't have an urge to have a bowel movement. Sorry if that's TMI. Um, I just, I had a lot of pain um, in my, I guess, upper abdominal region. So like right here, right at the pit of my stomach. Um, was just this awful pressure pain feeling. It was just terrible. Um, I ended up having to leave the party. It took me 33 minutes to drive home. I was afraid to drive home, but my husband was still at work and I, he couldn't get off to come pick me up. Um, the party was about four miles from my house and it took me 33 minutes to get home um, because I felt so sick. The pain was unbearable unbearable um i don't go to the hospital i don't ever i don't go to the er i'm just not like that i have an extremely high pain tolerance i feel like the only need to go to the er is if you are literally dying or if you are holding a body part if you have cut off your hands or feet or fingers or toes or you know if you are bleeding beyond all repair and nothing can wait then you can go to the ER but I just don't go to the ER I almost went on last Saturday night the night of the Halloween party I was so close to going I what it felt like is it felt like my stomach had started leaking <clears throat> I know that sounds ridiculous but um and I, I just thought I was going to have to have emergency surgery. I almost called my mom and told her I wasn't going to make it through the night. This is how bad it was. And I do not over-exaggerate when it comes to pain or when it comes to things like that. My husband was like freaking out, trying to get me to go to the hospital. But I just, I don't go. And I, but I was about to. Anyway, so at like 4 a.m. I started feeling better. Just, I made myself throw up multiple times from as soon as I got home, you know, trying to get any of the food out of me um, and it was not digesting properly. That's how I knew that there was some sort of issue because when I got home, it was like an hour and a half after I ate and I was like, I've got to get this out of me. So I made myself throw up and it was undigested. It was undigested. It was like everything was just sitting right here and I, there was just nothing I could do. So I continued to make myself throw up just, you know, like every hour or whatever. And then I just started feeling better. 
It was very strange. So I was fine all week. Yesterday, it happened again. It was instant though my husband and i went out to eat and we were still sitting in the restaurant and i was like we have got to go right now i and i just wasn't feeling good i thought i was gonna need to use the restroom and so we got home and that that feeling immediately turned into this pain feeling this weird pain in my stomach area again only so much more intense than last saturday night i could barely walk, my arms and my legs were going numb, the pain, my face was beet red and I was hot, my arms and legs were freezing cold, to even to the touch, they were cold to me but my husband touched me and I was cold, um, I, I was extremely dizzy, I felt like I couldn't breathe properly, I was super sick and I ended up going to the ER, which I don't ever do but I didn't know what else to do. I, felt like I was gonna die. It felt like there was some sort of intestinal or internal leak from my stomach that was causing death of my tissue, like necrosis of my tissue. I know that sounds really crazy, but it that's how it felt. So we get to the ER, they take their sweet time. Of course, they weren't even busy. Another reason why I don't go to the ER because those people get bombarded with idiots and people who don't give a shit and so they don't really care anymore. And um, I have insurance. I paid my $200 ER copay while I was there, paid it in full, which they were so surprised about, you know, but they just don't care anymore. So by the time I finally got to the back and got, and the doctor came in, I felt fine. The pain was gone. I was breathing fine. My arms and legs regained the sensation. I was pissed it because I, I felt like I was going to die. <laughs> So I went to the ER and sat there so long, I felt fine. Um, so it was a bit ridiculous. What I think it is, is I think it's my gallbladder. It's in the right area. It happens after I eat junky food. Like, And I'm not a doctor, but I think it might be my gallbladder. I have an appointment with my surgeon on Tuesday, um, which I will talk more about in a minute, but I'm going to have to talk to him. I really think I'm having a problem with my gallbladder um, because of the way the pain feels. It's pain from the pit of my stomach and it's radiating to my upper back. It's really strange. So if anyone has had their gallbladder out or has had problems with their gallbladder, is that what it's like? Is it, do you feel like you're gonna die? Because I legitimately felt like I was gonna die. Um, and I'm not a baby. I am not a wimp. I promise I am not a wimp. Um, but it was, it's very severe. So let me know if that's what a gallbladder pain feels like. So we're already running a little bit long, but a few more things. I want to confess something to you guys because I always confess my deepest, darkest, darkest secrets to you. Um... I have been breaking one of the cardinal rules. Um, I have been drinking soda. Not a lot, not a lot of soda, but I have been drinking some soda. Um, it's diet, of course, which I've always only liked diet soda, diet Dr. Pepper to be exact. Um, but it's the carbonation that's bad for the sleeve, and I understand that, and I know that, and I'm just a bad weight loss surgery patient. I've said it before, and apparently I'm saying it again. Um, so do you guys ever drink soda? <laughs> Can you tell me you do to make me feel better? I don't know. Um, so I have been drinking soda. I'll have like a sip or two um, a couple days a week. My husband drinks soda, so it it's in the house and he brings it home and it's a temptation and I'm giving into it. Um, I'm not like drinking like huge cups of soda every day. No, 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 not I, but I have been sipping soda. I don't drink alcohol, so I don't drink beer. I don't have anything else carbonated. Um, but I've been drinking a little bit of diet Dr. Pepper. Um, so I don't know, my, to me that's a cardinal rule, no carbonation. So I just wanted to confess that to you guys. Um, it's really embarrassing. Oh, I got some stuff from GNC I wanted to show you guys. Hold on one second. Okay, 
So like my favorite place ever is GNC. I get all of my food there pretty much. Um, the, the people in there like know me by name. I'm there all the time. So the, okay, these are not from GNC. 15 minutes, I'm sorry guys. Um, I'll try to hurry. These are not from GNC. I actually get these at Walmart, but I buy them all the time and they are amazing. They are turkey sausage bites by Old Wisconsin. There they are right there. And they're, you can actually see them. They're just little like bite-sized turkey sausages. They're delicious. Um, for so for six pieces, and there's four servings in this bag, for six pieces, it's 80 calories, five grams of fat, less than one carb, and seven grams of protein. So I eat these like every day um, for like a lunchtime or a mid or a late afternoon snack. I eat them at work. They're super, super good and they're great stats. Um, so those I wanted to show you. And then um, GNC now is carrying Ostrom. I don't know if you guys have heard about Ostrom, but this is one of the types of Ostrom. It is jerky. So this is what it looks like. These are, there's two strips in here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, it's beef and ostrich jerky. And this whole package, which is a decent size package, I would say it's six inches. I'm pretty good at that, so I think that's what it is. 60 calories, 1.5 grams of fat, three carbs, and 10 grams of protein. So, and it's delicious. And then I've never had this one before. It's pepper flavor. I'm not super big like into teriyaki and I don't really like spicy shit. And so pepper flavor was gonna be the best one. Um, so this is once again, beef and off, beef and ostrich. And it is called Ostrim. Um, for this gigantic stick, I don't know if you can see how thick it is. It's pretty big, actually. It's like a seven inch stick and it's, pretty girthy sounds really bad anyway so for this entire stick is 80 calories 1.5 grams of fat two carbs 14 mf and grams of protein right chia so these are super super delicious um i suggest you pick some up if you can find them um i get mine like i said from gnc so i just wanted to show you guys those um a couple more things Oh yeah, just, I don't know if it's a new flavor. I don't, you guys know I love the Oh Yeah One Bars. They're super delicious. I don't know if this is a new flavor or if my GNC just started carrying it, but it's chocolate chip cookie dough. So I'm super duper excited about these. I love, love, love Oh Yeah One Bars. Um, I also got two boxes of the oatmeal chocolate chip Quest Bars because those are my favorite things in the world. And now, drum roll please, this is a new product um, and I am really excited to show you guys. I have not tried them yet because I just picked them up today. I did get three different flavors. Oh yeah, drinks. What? What? Um, these are lactose free, no milk. Um, they are, this one's strawberries and cream. I got a vanilla cream and then I got two cookies and cream. So for this entire bottle, which is 14 ounces, awesome, 200 calories, it is six grams of fat, not bad, four carbs, one fiber, so three net carbs, 32 grams of protein. Yes, I said that properly. 32 grams of protein. Plus, oh yeah, is delicious. Delicious. So I'm super, super excited to try those. Um, like I said, I just picked them up from my local GNC today and they are a new product. Um, this video has gone on so long that I have to be super rude and go pull my dinner out of the oven. I can smell it and it might be burning. Um, I'm making dinner for my husband tonight because he is working, of course, like always. Um, so let me just pull this out real quick and then I will let you guys go. Oh. So for all you foodies out there, I will show you my dinner. I baked chicken. That is um, a marinade blend with some coconut oil. So it's just baked chicken. And then he is getting garlic parsley potatoes. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these before. It's by the Little Potato Company. They're little red potatoes. And this is microwavable, which is amazingly convenient. Um, 
They are potatoes, so there's 16 grams of carbs in there, whatever, 14 net carbs. And then he's getting peas and bread because I'm a good wife. Um, anyway, so this is a 20 minute video, probably my longest ever. And um, there's my cat. Sorry, getting a little crazy now. Um, I am gonna go ahead and do my six month body shot um, and get that out to you guys tonight. I just wanted to share all the amazing news. Sorry this was so long, but I warned you. Um, and I will see you guys next week for anyone having their surgery, good luck. Congratulations, anyone who is freshly post-op. You're gonna do awesome. It might suck right now, but it is amazing. It is such a fun journey. Um, you guys, say a little prayer for me. Keep your fingers crossed, whatever you believe in. Um, I have an assessment with a job on Tuesday. It's a very long hiring process, but I've been working at this for quite some time, and I have my first in-person assessment on Tuesday morning. So just kind of think about me at that time and wish me luck. I'm super, super excited about it, and um, hopefully it goes well. So I will see you guys next week. You guys take care. Thank you so much for watching and dealing with my craziness, um, and you get to see my body after this. So bye, guys.